All right, so very quickly, I'm going to uh, adjust this expansion valve and uh, show y'all how I do it. I've got a uh, temperature here, 7.75 degrees or 7.5. This case was uh, alarming, given this temperature is up around 20 degrees. So I've already adjusted it some, and I've gotten my uh, line temperature, suction line temperature down. It was up at like 25 a little bit ago. I've gotten it down to 16, and it's on its way down now because I've adjusted a little bit. So this is going to be the adjustment stand right here. It's on the bottom of the expansion wall, and it always has the little cap on it. Cap just like this. When you take it off, you need to use two crescent wrenches, and you've got to hold this uh, from twisting. You've got to back it up. This is part of my Sporlin TXV manual right here. And it says to reduce the superheat, turn the adjusting stem counterclockwise. So in my case, my superheat is too high. I measured it at 37 when I first got here. So now I'm not going to do it again right now because I've already adjusted this one and a half turns. But this is what you, you want to rotate. Either clock, counterclockwise or clockwise, you can go that way. Thing really important to note is that it says here not to go too much when adjusting the valve make no more than one turn of the stem at a time and observe the change that occurs and to closely watch it closely to prevent overshooting the desired setting um, and you have to wait as much as 30 minutes you might have to wait uh, until it stabilizes for that to happen and, and that's what has occurred here where I'm working so for example I adjusted that earlier when it was reading earlier it was reading about 25 when I got here 23 25 degrees when I adjusted it took it about 25 almost 30 minutes maybe even more than 30 minutes to get down to 16 that it was a minute ago and then so I adjusted it about 15 20 minutes ago and it's now down to 14.5 and it seems like it's still going down and my case temperature has gone down some so you just really gotta wait uh, to, to see where it's gonna stop going down at before you can call it done. Okay, and so it's still going down some, so that's all I'm gonna do for this video. Uh, I'm gonna end it up here. So just keep in mind that some of these, uh, most of these are adjustable, but a lot of them are not adjustable. Some valves and houses um, and other applications like that are not adjustable, so just keep that in mind. If they don't have a nut on the bottom that you can remove, like this one, then it's going to be a non-adjustable valve.